I want to talk about the next step that you guys started getting to professional events. Um, did when you like doing high high school basketball? Where's your goal to like eventually let's be doing this for like NBA players, like getting sitting under the hoop doing the same thing, like and even in the NFL now I've seen like Vikings whatever you got the the brand deal with a brand to bring you out to the mm-hmm. Vikings games yeah. and stuff like that. So what how what was that step like getting to do your first professional sporting event for that? The first one we ever did was. Um we actually went to a Timberwolves game. We were working with like the the Timberwolves like social media team. Um, was it the we, one where they glued their hand to the? No, court? it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't that. <laughs> it wasn't game. that one. You no. were at that one though, weren't you? Or no? I don't or you know. You just talked about it. Were maybe? we? Or was that the playing game? I think we were there. There was one. Like you were there was about one sort one, of least. protest going on in the court that we were at, and I just was really confused what happened, and then it was posted on Twitter afterwards, and I was like, I think we like were looking it, yeah. away or something, but yeah, yeah, we were we were there for that. I'm pretty sure, but. We were there during the COVID season when there was no fans. Mm-hmm. We like got the opportunity to go out to a game and like kind of make our voiceover style video. Um, it was Lamelo versus Anthony Edwards in both of their mm-hmm. rookie years, and it was a weird experience because there was no so fa- weird no it's fans like there. Open gym. Yeah, we were like ten rows up because we couldn't even be like on the court because of COVID. But we were like ten rows up, and we could still hear everything that was being said. It felt like. It felt like a high school gym, yeah. but it was NBA players, so it was super weird. Yeah, you could, um, you could hear, yeah. like, LaMelo screaming just loud as hell. Mm-hmm. It was so funny. And just everything that went on, it just felt like you were just so much closer because it was so quiet. Yeah, so we, we did that with, like, the Timberwolves social media team. Um, but I guess the goal wasn't to, like – I would say the goal wasn't to, like, do this at high school level and then move up to the NBA – because, like, like we talked about earlier, like, we kind of like having the, the opportunity, yeah, yeah. To, to cover the high school games, kind of control, like, I mean, we, we're the only ones telling the story a lot of the time, and nobody can watch it on TV, so we like that aspect of it, um, but, of course, we want to make all kinds of different content, so the opportunity to go to Timberwolves games um, and Vikings games um, is, is definitely fun, and it kind of mixes up the content, but high school, I would say, is definitely like looking into the future is our our kind of our niche that we want to stay in Mm -hmm. primarily i feel like you guys um i feel like you guys have like some type of gold card where you can just pop up to a timberwolves game and just scan in and get in for free or something no i wish (laughs) we are season ticket holders though so we got but i do um, wish we had that gold card (laughs) we got the the starter membership so we like have the nosebleed seats for every game if we if we want them um but it's yeah we (laughs) <laughs> we don't have that. That'd be mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, I just feel Maybe like you guys are day. at that point where it's like, shit, you might as well. Because uh, who's the one guy? Uh, jo- you know, Josh Englert. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. He, he seems like I don't. I, I know he he was one that I was thinking of. Pop my head when I know he started working for your Slam or overtime or yep. maybe both or whatever. Um, and he seems to be at like every game too. And I don't know if he's getting he's at every game. Yeah. If if he has like a specific like player that's getting him in there, be like, yo, make sure you get like a recap of me. But you can do whatever you want as well. But like that's how like he was like one of the first people I seen taking advantage of Min- Minnesota sports with like uh, mainly basketball. But I think he was doing some football stuff too. And like Jalen yeah. Suggs was playing football. Um, but yeah, then then I seen you guys come out, and then I was like, oh shit! Like these guys put the whole brand behind it. And then hell yeah, but. I should what about the what about the Vikings game? Because I know you guys are strictly B ball, but you're at the Vikings games. Do you, yeah. yeah. I feel like I I mainly see basketball stuff on your feed, but do you do you try to cover any more sports now that your brand has gotten a little bit bigger? No, it's just basketball. It's okay. just kind of like within the contract that we had with TickPick, we kind of had to go to a few Vikings games because mm-hmm. that's their biggest audience. But okay. we try to find a way to turn it into basketball. The one that the Jets game we went to. Um, we weren't able to bring Daniel, but the first one we brought him, Daniel Freetag, mm-hmm. um, high school player in Minnesota, for those who don't know. And we kind of just like brought him along because he's a two sport athlete, asked him questions, kind of just like have an overlap. So it kind of makes sense. That, yeah. I don't know. But well, we did. Um, so on Strictly B Ball, we want to keep it, like Nolan said, basketball. But I mean, it is in the name, Strictly B Ball. But um, we started a second account called strictly football i was just about to ask that yeah so we are experimenting a little bit with that and it's actually like done really well on tiktok and like the first like so we have a buddy named layton he's Shout out um layton. yeah he's kind of helping us with the football side um he com- comes up with ideas and and films it so we're kind of introducing him as like another face of the brand i guess on the football side so yeah we're, we're seeing how strictly football could go we got damn. we got a new account damn you guys could really go crazy with that shit. 
Yeah, the different like niches, about like, like making making separate bro, accounts. And if y'all want to partner up and do strictly music, hey man, I'll be down. We'll keep that in mind for sure. Yeah.